Hi, well, our very first guest for the day is from the Encouragement Center. We have the founder, one of the co-founders, Tina Marino, and also CC Stone. Uh, welcome to the show, ladies. Glad to have you, you here you today. So welcome back. Glad to have you. And you brought a friend I with you. Friend yes. With <laughs> you. A trusty sidekick. Yay. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. And the great thing about bringing friends on board is that you get to expand and do new things and reach more people here in our community. So tell me about what you are. First of all, tell us about the Encouragement Center first, just so people can have an understanding of what you do for people here in our community. Well, the Encouragement was uh, founded uh, 21 years ago, wow. and it started out just taking sack lunches and clothing and toiletries out to the homeless. Mm -hmm. And then pretty soon, over um, you know a couple of years, we would be out on the streets, you know, stopping the car and feeding the homeless. And people that had a roof over their head would come out and say, can you help us too? Oh. And so Cece and I started bringing groceries mm -hmm. and you know diapers and things to them. And they had a roof over their head, but not enough money to make it, you know, through the end of the month. Right, right. So we added that program to us. So the bulk of, uh, of our program is two-pronged, two is that we still feed the homeless okay. and provide for them. And then we also help the working poor. Which is a unique, unique position for many people here in our community. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. So tell, tell me, help others understand exactly what you mean by working poor, because it sure. almost sounds like an oxymoron, but it's something that's very, very prevalent in, in many individuals' lives. Well, and especially here in Southern California where the cost of living is so much. Mm -hmm. um, but working poor is mainly described as those who do have a roof over their head, they're not homeless, but they may run out of money before the end of the month. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's uh, shared housing with a couple of single moms okay. or you know roommate situation, yeah. and uh, they're just barely scraping by. And uh, so we provide them with uh, groceries. Uh, we used to do groceries more, more often, but now we give them a, a grocery card and let them have the dignity of shopping for the kind of uh, food that they want. Right. We also give them gas cards. And um, if we can, we help with prescription coverage or rent. If we, if we have the resources, we help them with sure, rent too. Sure. But um, yeah, they just, um, they're in a bind. If, yeah, it's a, if, it, if their car breaks down for a few days, they can't go to work, they've lost that pay, mm. and then they're not able to, to right. make it. And they just need that hand up. Need an extra hand. Cece, how do you all identify individuals? How do you even reach them? Or do they find you? Do you find them? How do you all connect with these Well, a lot of times they do. They call the Encouragement Center. They're given, um, Tina uh, takes the calls usually, and she, um, the different resources mm -hmm. refer them to her. Okay. So that's how a lot of them get in touch with the Encouragement Center. And so do you find people, uh, once you help them, do, do you find sometimes they come back or do they refer other individuals? Oh, they individuals? always come back. Really? They always come back, okay. yes. Okay, Yeah. I see. A lot of them are just one paycheck away from being homeless. And it doesn't take much, so just yeah. anything can happen. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And so for individuals, I, of course, you, you need help <laughs> to try right. to keep this going. So what can, what can our community do to help you all? Well, one of the things we have, we have a realtor friend of mine who every year she hosts a party at Christmas time for her clients, her neighbors. It's like an open house. Yes. And she asks them to bring a gift card, a check, cash, or non-perishable groceries. Right. And then she gives them to us and then we disperse them to other people. Oh, that's good. I think one of the main things that's really important for people to know is that Everyone helps at Thanksgiving and Christmas, mm. but these people need help all year round. That's true. That's right. so true. Because mm -hmm. right. everyone's true. willing to help at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, through the rest of the year, it, it's it's kind of threadbare for them. Yeah. So if people yeah. want to help, what can they do? How can they reach you all? Uh, they can call us. Okay. Uh, they can go to our website, theencouragementcenter.org. Mm -hmm. They can host their own food drives. Ah. They can uh, have a, uh, a gift card contest and raise <laughs> gift cards. They could also uh, help us with our sack lunch and toiletry making parties. Oh. We do those every quarter and we make up a couple thousand bags yeah. uh, to hand out uh, to the homeless but also to the working poor. Which is great. Uh, and mm -hmm. you left some here and we were able to take yeah. those bags and hand over to people. That mm -hmm. felt really good. And we kept them in our it trunk does. so that we could just hand them it out. Does. So thank you so much for it that. Does. Well ladies, you all That's are doing important. a fantastic job. Definitely serving a specific need in our community. And so we just want to say thank you so much for coming on and sharing. Thank you for having All us. Right. Thank you. I really okay. appreciate it. Thank All right. You. We'll see you again soon. Okay. <laughs> Great.